Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Susan Mara, and welcome to Dr. Mara's Medical Minutes. Today, we're going to talk about what is a Lyme literate doctor, because so many patients call my office and ask me <clears throat> if I'm a Lyme literate doctor, what's a Lyme literate doctor? So, unfortunately, there is no board certification for complex chronic illness or tick-borne disease or mold illness for that matter. As of yet, as of 2024, you cannot get board certified in any of, of those. What it means to be Lyme literate is that you have spent time studying and treating patients with Lyme disease, but that time could be one day or it could be 10 years. There's no time limit. And unfortunately, many physicians hang their shingles and say that they're Lyme literate doctors when they've done no studying and no work with a true Lyme doctor, like Dr. Charles Ray Jones or Dr. Joe Burriscano, or Dr. Joe Jemsek, or Dr. Richard Horowitz. These are the people and the giants in the field of tick-borne or vector-borne illness that have been doing it for over 30 years. And so to me, what a Lyme literate doctor is, is somebody who has spent significant amount of time studying with people of that caliber. Also, Lyme literate doctors, you may find that they belong to ILADS, um, the International Lyme and Associated Diseases Society, but some don't, some choose not to. Um, ILADS happens to be uh, probably a 30 year old organization. And um, I believe it was started by Dr. Raxlin, Dr. Phillips, Dr. Horowitz, Dr. Jo Dr. Joe Burriscano, um, Dr. Ken Ligner, um, people that are truly giants in the field, and most of them are on the East Coast because that's where Lyme uh, or sort of originally started, and that's where it became an epidemic long before it came, became an epidemic on the West Coast. So how do you decipher who's Lyme literate and who's not? It's very, very difficult. And what I would say to you is that if you are a new patient, you need to ask the right kinds of questions to the, either the front desk or the doctor to make sure that they know what they're talking about. You know, do they understand chronic complex illness? How, who have they trained with? You know, did they do a residency? You know, I've been practicing so long that when I first got out, there was only one residency and it was at Bastyr University and I wasn't interested in doing family practice. So um, when I moved to Connecticut um, I and I figured out that what I was seeing was tick-borne illness, I quickly aligned myself with Dr. Charles Ray Jones and Dr. Richard Horowitz um, who largely trained me. And I did a six year residency with Dr. Jones. I was with him for six years. I mean, I saw every kind of patient you could possibly imagine in the pediatric population. And with Dr. Horowitz, I saw a variety of adult patients. So as a result, I attract both. So what I caution you about is that nowadays, because tick-borne illness has become a buzzword and it is a pandemic, it's a silent pandemic, there are lots of people that hang their shingles and say they treat and they really know nothing about it and they're actually dangerous. So I would caution you to do your homework on people and make sure that you are with an authentic Lyme literate doctor, authentic Lyme literate doctor, because those are the doctors that are going to most likely get you well. I didn't say cure, 
but they're most likely to get you well. And that's been true in my practice. So I hope this information has been helpful to you and take good care. Bye-bye.